The Global Diabetes Compact is a World Health Organization-led initiative which will unite stakeholders around a common agenda to reduce the risk of diabetes and ensure that all people diagnosed with diabetes have access to affordable, comprehensive quality management. When HIV AIDS uh, started, the cost of treatment of one patient per, per month was approximately 2,500 US dollars. Requalification came in and was able to identify quality assured antiretroviral medicines. The cost of treatment has dropped now to less than $50. We want to believe we can extrapolate this learning the area of diabetes and particularly the area of insulin. Healthy diet helps keeping energy balance, having adequate complex carbohydrate, uh, fruit and vegetables, uh, legumes in the diet is so important for keeping the glycemic control. Currently, one in four adults are not meeting the recommended levels of physical activity, and the levels of physical inactivity in adolescents are even higher, and they'll be the adults who are at greater risk of diabetes. We also know, very worryingly, that those people living with diabetes are more likely to be less active. So we've got a large job to do to promote physical activity to prevent and to support those people living with diabetes. design and conceptualization of the compact, we've inserted this attention to lived experience, in particular with lived experience of diabetes. The HIV community, they have repeatedly stated that when they finally unpackaged what meaningful engagement of people living with HIV was and how that could support and structure their policies and programs, it was a pivotal moment. It was a game changer in sort of the attention to, to, to the disease, attention to the access, affordability, availability issues, and attention to, to the needs of people living with the disease. We might look at the dimension of nutrition and food policies. Some colleagues would look at healthcare and access to essential drugs and technologies for diabetes. We might look at the burden disease in terms of surveillance, the prevalence of diabetes in our country. So all those functions require a lot of coordination and contribution and alignment all together. And I think this is the spirit of the compact is to bring all those elements and stream of work together, uh, whether at the global level, uh, at, uh, at the regional level, or at the country level. The compact is really important because it is a huge global challenge, the increasing burden of diabetes and the increasing rate of premature mortality. The compact offers an opportunity for us to all work together to put together the solutions we know can be effective. Because our common target is to have uh, the, the satisfaction of the beneficiary and we want to have that person treated. I get excited. The same excitement I saw when the, that revolution came to HIV patients. I am excited that this revolution is coming to the diabetic patients.